What's going on, everybody? It's so, so warm out here today. Good day. Uh, real quick, shout out to uh, one of my best friends, Mark McMillan. Uh, dude, good guy, man. Really good guy. He was a good guy today. Really, uh, yeah, helped me with a lot of stuff today that I completely had no idea of. Um, if you have not subscribed to this dude on YouTube, Go subscribe, Mark McMillan. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends and family members to go subscribe to Mark McMillan. He is hilarious. You're going to love him. Uh, real quick, I got to get something off my chest. Ah, I've been hearing a lot of stuff. Maya, what up? I've been hearing a lot of stuff, man, uh, lately about uh, the younger generation, you know, not whooping. The children, uh, you know, we're we not doing a good job. This is why society is taking our children. Uh, they ended up in jails or in a grave, this, that, and the third. But uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you because I know I, I, I hear it a lot. Uh, you spare the rod, you spoil your child. Um, if you love your child, you basically, you beat them, right? So it's just something that's wrong with that though. Like, I, honestly, I just be like, if you, if we just use our imagination, we'd be like, can I really see Jesus? If he had children, honestly, like whooping his children. Like if we just be honest, right? Most of us would say no, but then we'd be like, well, Quentin, the Bible is the Bible, right? Yeah, the Bible is the Bible. All right, but you know, and also Jesus, when if you're going to say that, Jesus made a whip and he uh, cast it, drove those animals and those people out of the temple. Well, yeah, he made a whip with his robe and with some other robes and he drove out uh, the animals, the people. He said, stop making my father's house a, a marketplace. But let's just be honest, if we're going to use that. Um, Acts 7 and 48, and also in Acts 17 and 24, it says repeatedly that God does not dwell in temples made by man, or God does not dwell in man-made things. But I could have swore that 2 Corinthians 6 and 16 says that we are the temples of God. So if we really look at that text clear in, in John 2, when he was driving out people, out of the temple and them animals. Like, why was he really driving them out? What, what was the outline of why he was doing what he was doing? Since we are the temples of God, does Jesus go to the extreme depth to drive out things that's in us or that we entertain that should not be there? Do he, does he go to the extreme passion to drive that stuff out due to us being the temple of God? Because God ain't dwelling in no temple that's made by man, guys. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you know that now. And that's not my opinion. It's not how I feel. Even though I'm in my feelings right now. But that's that's the text, guys. That's Acts 7 and 48, Acts 17 and 24. You can look it up yourself. But uh, you know what? At six o'clock, I'm posting a video up. We're we gonna go there today. Six o'clock p.m. sharp. I am posting a video on my page. Go to Quentin Johnson's page, my profile page. Click the video and guys have some fun. Uh, yeah, I, we just got to go there today because it's, uh, it's good. It's good that we shake some stuff up. It's good that we uh, question our beliefs sometimes. And it's definitely good for growth. So uh, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it.